I spent 100 days in Minecraft in an ocean-only world. Today, I spawn in a custom Minecraft world where everything is an ocean biome. In this world, instead of mining trees and fighting creepers, I'll have to loot shipwrecks and fight underwater zombies. Will I be able to make it to the end? Stay tuned to find out. Alright, let's do this. So, I'm in the ocean world. I don't know what this is for, but yeah, it's mostly all just warm ocean around me. So what I think I'm gonna do is gonna try to find a shipwreck. And I actually see some dolphins over here, so... Yes! Oh, there's actually a broken nether portal over here. Not that bad, actually. We're making our way pretty quickly. Oh, there's another shipwreck. Before I go to that, I wanna see if I can try to get some wood. Okay, we're half health, but we can actually make tools now. I'm gonna make an axe and a pickaxe. And while I'm here, I'm gonna make some food. And with this axe, we can get more wood. Nice, we're on our way. Got some more food. And here we have books and paper. Iron and some more goodies, which is pretty good. There's another shipwreck. This is actually not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Pretty okay. While I'm here, I'm just gonna grab a ton more wood. It is a scarce resource out here in the ocean. Why not? I'll take the door too. I think there's like some ocean ruin over here. Pretty sure these have chests in them. Pretty okay loot. I got a gold helmet. Getting a lot of coal and a fishing rod with unbreaking one. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm getting swarmed. No worries though, because ocean PvP is crazy slow. Oh, and I got a copper ingot. What do I do with this? Another shipwreck over here. Whoa! We just got a ton of iron from the shipwreck. With this, can now make full iron, right? Yeah, look at that. We don't need any of this anymore. Wait, I think these are like a little amethyst cluster thing. So wait, if I just go down here, cut through one of these... Oh my gosh! I did not plan for this. Oh my goodness. Holy dude, I thought I was just dead there. Okay, so if we just go here... Okay, we're good. That was so scary, but what I wanted to do, grab one of these actually. And yeah, they dropped amethyst shards. Wait, so that means if I go back, <gasps> it's right here. Buy glass. Oh, you need two copper ingots. That's my mission then. I'm gonna kill a drown, get another copper ingot, and then make a spy glass. Oh, I think I see one. And he didn't drop one. Wait, actually, can copper spawn in these chests? What? Well, <laughs> I think we're fine now because I just dug into some copper. And with our second copper ingot, we can now make a spyglass. Whoa. I can see the shipwreck. All right. Well, yeah. I see another portal over here. I'm going to get it real quick. That's not too bad. All right. So I actually have a couple things planned for today. I'm just going to be going around today just scavenging these shipwrecks because I actually want to start on a house. That's right. We're not going to be homeless forever, okay? I'm going to be building my base at very specific coordinates that i will never forget so don't worry all right first shipwreck let's just do our work on it okay so i took out all the logs i have a stack of logs now so we're gonna go to our location and See if we can settle there. Wait, I think I'm here. <laughs> Call me the funniest person ever, because I am. We're going to make our base at 6969. Now, of course, this isn't our finalized base. You know, I actually have something in mind, but for now, this is fine. I just wanted a place to deposit all my goodies. I can finally like have a clear inventory. This is amazing. So everybody, as you can see, I have these potatoes and carrots here. What is one thing you need to grow potatoes and carrots? Exactly, some dirt. I, I think you guys can see a problem with this. So we're gonna go on a hunt, a dirt hunt. <gasps> Yes! I'm just gonna grab like a ton of this. Uh oh. I did not think of this. You know what we're gonna do? Yes! <laughs> so, I'm gonna do something like this and then use this golden hoe. I can plant my potatoes and carrots. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go out for a bit. I want to go caving a little bit. Whoa, what? There's a mine shaft here. We're gonna go in very slowly. I hear a zombie. Is it down? Oh my gosh, this is actually the first zombie I've seen. We got string. Okay, wait. I can use the string and make a bed. Oh, there's a chest. Melon seeds and pumpkin seeds. That's pretty good. I'm gonna try killing that enderman. There's two of them. I just got an ender pro. Oh my gosh. He did so much damage. I only have seven string. I need 12 to make a bed. Okay, we're at nine. We just need three more. Perfect. We have 12. Yes. Okay, I'm getting out of here. There is an enderman here that I want to kill. 
feel so now the good part about being in an only ocean world is i can just dig up whenever and i'll get to an ocean home sweet home i'm back and uh none of my crops have grown i want to fish for a bit in big oceans in minecraft you can get like really op items like good books better fishing rods and stuff so that's what i'm gonna try to do for a little bit and with all this iron hopefully we can make an anvil and get better tools and stuff Oh, a bow with mending is actually not bad for the situation we're in. Okay, and with that, I'm gonna put this back in. Today, I wanna start on my house. So what I wanna do is I wanna make like a ship. I'm no builder by any means, so if it looks bad, then it looks bad. actually out of wood. I'm gonna need to find more shipwrecks to get more wood. There's a shipwreck right here, but it's not oak. I will take the spruce while I'm here though. All right, and I've basically stripped this entire pirate ship. I do see a spruce boat over there, which isn't that terrible. With that, I don't want to waste all today just grabbing wood, so I'm going to go back and try building on my ship a bit. All right, so I think I'm going to replace all of this with spruce because I have so much more of it. So uh, yeah, let me just take all this down. Oh, and it's actually raining, which gives a better chance for fishing. So I may do that for a little bit after I finish this. Oh my gosh! Ah, look at them burn. Hey there, buddy. Ah! That's it. You will now forever live in this item frame. I want to find diamonds today. Okay, so to find diamonds, we first have to actually get down to Y11. Oh, I just mined into a water cave. Our first bit of iron we're mining. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> <gasps> our first diamond we just dug into a mine shaft oh my gosh nice so that means we can actually go ahead and make one of these I actually hear a ton of spiders which i'm gonna take my torches out because i think it might be a spawner and it is i think we're okay i think i secured the spawner oh there's a chest over here with glow berries and a name tag let me rush home real quick Okay, so the name of the axolotl is Rob. I can just go ahead and make an anvil here. Name it Rob. There we go. Look at our boy. Talk to him, Rob. Talk to him. All right, and while I was down there, I actually got four obsidian, which is enough to make an enchantment table. So now we can just progress. So let's see. We're aiming for aqua affinity or respiration on this, which is not looking very good. You know what? What I'm actually going to do now, I'm going to smelt up some stone real quick, and then I can make this and then put it like this. Is. Yep, I have a grindstone now. All right, so boom, we got unbreaking one, which is not good. So I'm just gonna grind it and hope for the best. Oh, look at that, aqua affinity. We're making upgrades. I'm gonna enchant my pickaxe next, and also I can enchant my axe with efficiency too. I have nine more levels, so I'm just gonna enchant my armor. And you know what I can also do? I can make another helmet, get protection one on this one, and then combine the protection one and aqua affinity. And with that, we're actually out of levels, so we're looking pretty good. And I guess. I'm just gonna work on the ship for a little bit. So, what do we have planned for today? Well, I think I found a cave spider spawner in a mine shaft, and today I want to make an XP farm with it. With my new enchantment table, I'm hoping that I can get a ton of levels and bookshelves and just get like maximum enchantments before we head to the nether. So, I've actually got a notepad out to the side here of what we need. So, we're gonna need some trap doors, like 20 fence gates, two extra buckets, regular cobblestone slabs. I think that should be it, actually. So, I I've written down the chords of where the spider spawner actually is and we're just gonna head there it's actually like really close to our base so yeah and it should be literally just like right here 
Oh, I'm gonna have to dig four blocks each side of the spawner, so. And while I build the spider spawner, this video literally took so long to make. Like, I started recording this in January. It is now August. So if you want to help out the channel, subscribing would be greatly appreciated. Now let's get back to the 100 days. So yeah, as you can see, this farm is super efficient. So what I'm gonna do is use my XP farm and get a ton of levels, and then hopefully get better enchantments on my pickaxe. So what I'm gonna do is literally just make this hole right here that goes all the way up up to the ocean all right so i'm gonna head up to surface and then head back to base so we have 10 books here which we can then make into three bookshelves so i'm just gonna grind this here we go efficiency too i guess we can just start in this ravine over here go right here and here's the mine shaft diamond spawns at level 11 so if we just go down two blocks so now i just gotta pick a direction i'm gonna go this way and i'm on my way <gasps> no way well we just got our first bit of diamond all right well let's see if we can get even more lucky wait what i actually hear a zombie oh okay we mine into like a huge ravine but surprisingly in this huge ravine there's no diamonds <gasps> where'd you come from my axe what is with this who placed me in this ocean I'm gonna go to the nether for the first time. For good luck, I'm just gonna have Rob here. I guess I can just do it right here for now. All right, I'm gonna use one of these fire charges and boom. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm actually kind of scared. Oh, what? What is this spawn? Okay, there's an opening right here. So what I actually wanted to do is make a hoglin farm because we have no like infinite source of food yet. And also from the hoglin farm, we can get leather, which we can turn into bookshelves. Just gonna chill here, make some fences. Ow. <gasps> what kind of sword is that? Go up. Oh my gosh. I forgot I'm not wearing any gold so the piglins are angry at me. All right, that was pretty scary. I could have just lost everything. Now all I need to do is just find two hoglins and get them in my little pen. Okay, I see one down there. Okay, I trapped him. I trapped him. Everything wants to kill me. <gasps> oh, don't kill it. Okay, come on, buddy. Go in. All right, so now I have both of them. I'm pretty sure. <gasps> I just did it. I actually found two bastions just literally right next to each other so yeah we're gonna see how far we get first things first i want to get home and stack up a little bit all right first thing on the agenda i'm gonna make a pair of gold boots Ooh, fire protection one i'm going to make a diamond axe they're all on breaking so i'm just gonna do them an extra shield just in case i guess we're ready all right so i think the safer one to go to is actually the one in the wall over there we're just gonna play it incredibly safe and hopefully we don't die <gasps> oh my gosh all right so i've trapped myself inside this tiny little hole here good thing i brought this lava bucket so i can literally just burn them now oh but there's a ton of gold over here i'm literally just gonna go up and just break all of these okay and i got 16 gold blocks out of that i'm just gonna sneak around here oh my gosh oh that guy did so much damage with one axe swing. All right, I'm back up at full health, so if I go down here and then place a block above me, none of the piglins are mad. Cool. Oh my gosh, we just got our first netherite scrap. There's also a bunch of arrows in here and a soul speed 2 book that I will gladly take. This chest has pretty good stuff as well. I'll take the obsidian, the crying obsidian, I guess. Oh, there's a chest right here. Okay. Oh, we got a lodestone, which is kind of cool. And I'm pretty sure there's another room over here. We got some cool stuff and a diamond pickaxe with mending that's pretty good and in this chest we got ancient debris and an iron sword with looting too oh my goodness we came out with a ton of stuff so i'm happy oh my goodness and it's raining all right so now what i'm gonna do is just do a little mining honestly Five, six, nice, okay. Oh my, what? Okay, we're at nine now. All right, we're done with Rob's cage. All right, so we have 12 diamonds now. And with this, what I'm actually going to do is make a diamond chest plate. Goodbye, iron chest plate. We're moving on. You know what we can actually do? We have some ancient debris and netherite scrap here. You only need four netherite scrap to actually make a netherite ingot. So we should be able to get a netherite chest plate. Oh my gosh. And then we have the netherite pickaxe, baby. Let's go. 
<gasps> Six, seven. Hello there. All right, there's three of them. We have 10 now. All right, so today I think I want to explore the second bastion. And we almost died trying to go through one of them. So this time I'm gonna hope I'm stacked enough. And we got a diamond pickaxe with unbreaking too. We got a ton of obsidian, a block of iron, and in the other chest we have another block of iron and an iron sword with unbreaking too. Okay. Another ancient debris. All right. And in this chest we have an iron sword with mending. In this chest we have a bunch of golden carrots, which is cool. All right. And over here there's also. Oh! Oh my goodness. Run. Run. <gasps> oh my goodness i'm just trying to leave because i don't want to die exploring bastions and hardcore worlds are so scary what why is there just a strider just chilling here with a saddle i guess i'll just keep it here So now we're gonna make our way home. I want to see if I can make a tree farm. I guess over here would be fine. Okay, and now we have this platform here. Oh, what? I'm just gonna go in the direct center here and then I'm gonna place a moss block and hopefully this gives us a tree. <gasps> Wait. Oh, it worked. Wait, oh my gosh, it worked. We have infinite wood in an ocean only world. Not even that, we have trees in an ocean only world. This is amazing. Dude, no way. And also, that means with this grass, I can get seeds. So yeah, we can finally grow wheat. Let's get to what everybody's questioning about. This pigment. And yes, I'm wasting one of my name tags on this. So now his name is Alfred. Yes, what's up? I really want to finish this ship soon, so. Let's take a break. Let's have some adventure, shall we? Ain't that right, Alfred? For real. So today, I want to explore the nether a little bit and hopefully find a nether fortress. And I guess I could also take my looting sword, combine the looting sword with the mending sword, and then combine that with unbreaking two sword. Ooh, I'm nervous. Our hogland farm's actually doing pretty good. Ow, okay. Hello? Oh, he's right here. Okay, so we need this warped fungus. All right, and with this, I'm going to make a fishing rod and then add the warped fungus to my fishing rod. Now we have a warped fungus on a stick. All right, perfect. So we can take this bad boy out to town now. Ooh, there's a nice little opening over here. Nice and open. Perfect for a nether fortress. Ain't that right, game? What the heck? There's like a strider reunion. Look, look at the little baby. All right, there's land here, so I'm gonna have to leave you. I'll be back. Oh, it's such a big... <gasps> And we're in. <gasps> what? That is literally like my fifth wither skeleton. All right, well, two more to go, I guess. Oh, there's so much blazes here. Okay, we have nine blaze rods already. I think there's a spawn right here. Nice, we have 12 blaze rods. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! That's two. All we need is one more. Yes! Okay, that means we can leave. Now I just gotta find my way out. Get me out of here. I hate this place. All right, so over here should be where the portal is. And here is where our journey ends, little strider friend. Thank you. Today, I want to build a mob grinder. So we need a bunch of cobblestone. And honestly, I feel like right here is a good spot. All right, so now that we're finished with this, we need to make our four hoppers, and then we need to put slabs on top just like this. And now we need to make it 22 blocks high. I'm just now realizing how much cobblestone we actually need. The spider spawner that we have is surrounded by a ton of stone. So yeah, we're just gonna go and see what we can do.
just grab all the cobblestone we've gotten and head back. So seeing we need a lot more cobblestone for the mob farm, through strip mining and other means, we'll get a lot of cobblestone. So, all right, we're just gonna dig down right here. Oh, what? Well, there we go. I just dug into some diamonds. That's four diamonds so far. <gasps> we got some nice lapis here. All right, that's nine diamonds on the diamond counter. Oh, what the heck? Okay, wait, I actually wanna save the zombie villager. Okay, so I need to get this guy back to my base. I need to dig a tunnel all the way up to surface. <gasps> base is right there. Let's go, buddy. Right here. And then if we just go down. Okay, perfect. We're going to make a temporary little base here. All right, it looks pretty ugly, but it's temporary, okay? So we just give him a little love tap. Perfect. And he's in the boat as well. We're gonna go and bring him over. So now all I need to do is boom. Oh, no way. Okay, stay in there. If this guy drowns now. What's up, buddy? All right, now he's Jaquavi Ontavius. Before we worry about how we're gonna get him up here, we should probably build the space where he's going to be first. So, now the real problem. How are we gonna get this zombie villager who can't swim up here? Something I could do is theirs. Hopefully he just walks all the way up. Follow me, Jaquavion Tavius. Very slowly, but he's getting there. He actually made it! All right, this is perfect. Boom! To cure him, as you may know, we need a golden apple and a potion of weakness. Now, the potion of weakness is easy. I can do that. The real problem here is the golden apples. Let's take a step back into the nether and see if we can get any golden apples from bastions. Okay, in preparation, what I want to do is finally make full diamond. And what we can also do is enchant them. Alright, I think we're pretty stacked up now, so I'm gonna head to the nether. All right, I think this is a good direction to go. <gasps> oh my goodness. Now let's just hope there is nice shiny golden apple somewhere inside this bastion. Oh, but there's no golden apple in this chest. Oh my gosh. Please. Of course not. Golden apple. <gasps> oh, no way. Oh my goodness. I can finally get out of here. All right. First things first. Boom. Brewing stand. Weakness potions. Boop. Now I forget how long it takes, but he should turn into a regular villager now. <gasps> Jaquavion Tavius! Oh my gosh, have a carry, you deserve it. Alright, now here is the most tedious part of this process. We need to sit here and keep breaking this lectern over and over again. As you can see, he gives you a random book, so this may take a while. <gasps> Three emeralds for mending, that is really good actually. Alright, that actually didn't take too long. I think we can finally get back to doing the mob grinder. My pickaxe is pretty dead, so I want to head to the spider spawner. Alright, I think my pickaxe is pretty repaired, so I'm just gonna find somewhere to dig and get a bunch of cobblestone. Alright, I think four stacks should be plenty, so... Wait, what? Are you serious? Why didn't I lock it in? Why didn't I lock it down? I'm such an idiot! Good doing business with you, sir. Next thing on the agenda. Now that we have mending, I want to get better armor and better tools so we can complete this enchantment table. Yeah, I think this means we have to go back to the nether. All right, there's some hoggins down here that I can farm. Oh, <gasps> my chest plate. Oh. Oh my gosh. I actually almost died. That was not funny. Okay, we're putting on the old iron chest plate. What the heck? What? <gasps> oh my gosh, the perfect amount. I think I want to move the enchantment table down to the spider spawner. All right, so yeah, right here can be the enchantment room, I guess. All 
All right, so here is the room. Place it right here. Boom, level 30. Nice. Where is he? Where is he? Come on. Yes! And yeah, I think this finishes the enchantment room, honestly. Next thing on the agenda, I want to see if I can get the enchantment fortune 3 on my netherite pickaxe so I can get extra diamonds. So yeah, I'm going to try to get to that. That's tough. You have to be kidding. Boom. Dude, that's the same thing. Ooh, okay. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. All right, now with this, let's go mining. I have fortune three. Nothing can stop me. Oh, so much coal. <gasps> what a magnificent way to start out with fortune three. Whoa. How much diamonds is this, though? It's a lot. Oh, my gosh. That's it? Two? Alright, we have eleven. Oh! Oh! Okay, alright, no diamonds. This is a waste of a cave. Alright, our profits are going up. Look at this. We've accumulated a lot of string. And this is good because I want to put a sail on my ship, which requires a lot of wool. I like that. I actually like that. I think I want to create a proper farm today. Thankfully, we have a nice little mob spawn over here. 22 bones. I'm just going to turn it all into bone meal. All right, so I can finally make full diamond once again. And I think we're going to do a level 30 enchant on it. Boom. Something we haven't done for a long time is go for a little bit of netherite mining. Okay, we have this much beds. Okay, so with six ancient debris, I think we're ready to go back. Actually, I think before we go, I think I'm going to enchant another chest plate. So I'm going to mine as much quartz as I can. Let's get this ancient debris smelting. I'm going to take some of my diamond. I'm going to make an extra chest plate, please. Okay, I guess we can just get rid of this one. Nice. Boom, turns three. Okay, two. Wait, that's actually good. So we're going to put some mending on this bad boy. And then finally, we can finally turn it into netherite. All right, so now that we're done with the chest plate, I want to get perfect leggings. Right now, we're rocking the iron leggings, so let's fix that. Boom. And now we need to level 30 enchant this, so back to the nether, I guess. All right, so level 30 enchant is okay. We can grab one of these, put mending on it. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my pants and turn it into netherite. All right, so next thing on the list, let's get these boots up. I think I'm just gonna grind this. Ooh, okay. All right, so I think this time around, I'm going to actually use the mob spawner. We need to go on top of the mob spawner here. And then from the center, we need to go 80 blocks up. So here we go. Okay, here we are, 80 blocks up. The only mobs in our render distance are actually in the farm, so any other mobs that are around in caves and stuff will despawn. We're gonna give it five minutes and we're gonna see how much mobs we get. Hopefully a lot. I'm trying to get to level 30. and that is five minutes this is gonna be scary but okay <gasps> wait that's another zombie villager we need to extract my boy we only have the zombie villager now we have to be quick come out here buddy no no no, no! oh my get in the stupid door okay he's in i don't actually know what to do now because i have zero name tags left wait we have one left you still here right There's no zombie villager this time, which I'm kind of sad about. 
up. Boom. Okay, I'm honestly not mad at it. First thing I want to do is fix the mob spawner. It's kind of getting clogged up by spiders. So to fix that, we could place carpets all around the mob spawner. We're going to go and do the five minute test to see just how much mobs can we get. All right, and here we are, 80 blocks up. That is a chicken. I want that chicken. Dude, what the hell? Are you kidding me? <gasps> right in here. Perfect. All right, I guess we got to make a little cage for this guy now. All right, and here's our finished farm. Yes! So now that we're down here, make a new pair of boots, enchanted with protection four. So pretty much all we need now is feather falling and mending. Uh-oh. Huh. I didn't think it would despawn because it's a chicken. Yes, we did it! Your new name is now Bingus. We did it! It works! Yeah, it works! All four corners now. Oh, it's so fast! Look at this! Now that we have two villagers, we basically have infinite villagers, right? I still have weakness potions left over from the other time we cured him. So if we just get one more golden apple, then we're basically set. We have infinite villagers. And to get a golden apple, we need to take a step back into the nether. All right, so last time we found a bastion, we went in this direction. So I'm gonna just follow this direction again, I guess. <gasps> Wait, no way. Perfect. We just need to make our way over. Oh, it's been so long since I've been in a bastion. I'm so nervous. All right, there's chests up here, but there's so much brutes. I'm gonna just place my boat and trap him. No gapple in this one. Oh, unlucky. Nope. No. All right, while we're here, I guess I could grab the gold block. Yeah, this is a fairly empty bastion, honestly. So I guess we need to explore further in the nether. Oh, wait. This could actually be good. Oh, I'm a genius. Grab one of these. We can then make one of these. I'm gonna name you Goober. Your name is Goober. No way. What is my luck with these bastions? Come here, Goober. This will be your temporary home for now. Okay, I see our first chest right here. Okay, no golden apples so far. All right, we got two chests right here. First one, no luck. Second one, no luck again. Third chest up here, no luck. Ooh, okay. I will definitely take that. Is there another chest right here? Yes! We got it, we got it. I got what I need. All right, Goober. I'll see you around, buddy. Thank you for the journey. Okay, so we still have one weakness potion left over. Boom. Woohoo! All right, and now I can just boat him over. All right, Bingus, you stay here. I'm gonna set you up with a pretty little lady I know. I think I feel a real connection between you two. All I need to do now, make a couple of these. I'll just place them around like this, I guess. Hopefully by the next time I check back here, there's gonna be like 20 villagers. Oh my goodness. Oh, there is a lot of you. What? Desperate times call for desperate measures. All right, I got five fish. Will this be enough? <gasps> yes! So we got Clark the cat now. All right, so basically my plan here was to make a huge village. As you can see, our village is growing rapidly and we need space for them. And since we don't really have grass, we're gonna have to use this moss stuff. <laughs> mending on my shovel you know what while i'm here i'm gonna combine my two boots so there actually is one more way i could make my diamond shovel better and that is putting unbreaking on it so if i put it right here okay yeah there's two now oh no way we just got our first try but it's so expensive but you know what you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes that's actually crazy lucky so now we have unbreaking three but i kind of want a cheaper trade on this so
golden apple. Boom. Oh my god, there's another cat. <gasps> yes! Alright, next up, we gotta get rid of the old shack, unfortunately. So, now I've got this huge mass of dirt. But the problem is, islands aren't exactly perfectly circular. I'm gonna get a bunch of fences, and then I'm just gonna increase this fence around the entire perimeter of the island. What? That is most of the island done. Basically, all we need to do now is grab all of this dirt and just go down like this, I guess. Ooh, one emerald for Unbreaking 3 is looking pretty good. I'm gonna just hit the mines and collect some dirt. Oh. We also need some of this stuff as well, some gravel. We need to have equal amounts of gravel and dirt because we're going to turn this into coarse dirt, which will double our dirt, and then we can turn it back into just regular dirt. Six and a half stacks of gravel, not too bad. All right, now with all this dirt and gravel, I can actually do this and make coarse dirt. Perfect. And that doubles our dirt amount. So if we just keep doing this, we now have an inventory full of coarse dirt. But we're not looking for coarse dirt, are we? We're looking for regular dirt. So to fix this, if we shovel this and turn it into path, and then we place dirt over it, then it turns it into regular dirt. Now we get to dig all of this out. And done. So yeah, we can finally keep building. Boom. The island is now officially finished. All right, well, the hard part is officially over. So the villagers are free to roam the entire island now. All right, first things first. For the farmer, I want to do a couple farms. All right, maybe one right here. All right, so this is what we have for the farm. And I actually wanna place our pumpkin and melon farms right here, but for that, we're gonna need a lot more wood. All right, this is definitely enough wood, so. Nice, the farms are finished. All right, now we can actually recreate the houses that are in the villages. So we'll start here, I guess. Okay, and with that, the first village house is finished. So the last thing I want to do, I think, is usually there's like a fountain in the center of a village. Now if we just place the water, that's perfect. Okay, the village is looking quite good. So on my diamond boots, I already have protection four, depth strider three, and unbreaking three. So pretty much the only thing I want left is feather falling four and mending. So I'm gonna just bring people over here and uh, hopefully one of them gives feather falling. Yeah, this will make it a lot. Oh, oh lock in. Yes! Boom. All right, now with that, we can make our netherite ingot. And then, finally, we can make our netherite boots. Yes! Oh, I'm looking so good. So, eight diamonds left. We can make our helmet. You know what time it is. Let's wait five minutes on the top of our mob spawner. So, what transition do I want to do today? Uh, Did that transition look good? I want to see. There's a type of villager that trades zombie flesh for emeralds. So maybe we can get some XP for that. One level. All right, we have some extra dirt here. So nothing too fancy. Just like a quick little farm. All right, that brought us to level 26. Nice. So aqua affinity. What else will this give us? 
Are you serious? Please. Actually, you know what? This is pretty good. So all we need basically is respiration thing. Ah, uh, let's go. Combine these for now. Respiration 3 mending. Respiration 3 mending unbreaking. And then finally combine it all. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we actually do not have enough to make it netherite. We're missing one ancient debris. Yes, oh my goodness, finally. That took too long. Make our piece of netherite, transform our helmet into a netherite helmet. Oh, look at that. Cover me in debris. I look so fancy. Well, now that we have full netherite, I think I'm confident to go to the nether. We need more gold blocks. Okay, so there's another bastion that I found. I don't think I explored. I think I just left it. And then I think we took a strider somewhere along this way. Oh, wait. <gasps> Goober! What the heck? How is he still here? Okay, I need to find string. Yes! All right, let's go. You know where to take us, Goober. Oh, wait, did we actually... I don't think we explored this. I think we just grabbed the golden apple and did. But there's another bastion that we didn't explore that one. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I think this bastion is done for. It's straight land from here, so I think I'm gonna have to leave you here for now, Goober. Just so you don't get too cold. Yes. I think that's it for the bastion, actually. It is like one of the worst bastion types. <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure this is like one of the best types of bastion. Yeah, it's a treasure bastion. Oh, we can get so much gold out of this. All right, there's two gold blocks here. Before we explore the huge treasure room, I'm gonna go up here. What? No. Now we just gotta go into the treasure room. Okay, not bad, actually. Honestly, this treasure bastion wasn't that good. We now have 53 blocks of gold. So I think one more bastion and then we should be good. <gasps> oh my! I am the greatest. I'm the greatest. No one can tell me otherwise. <gasps> yes. Hopefully it's a good bastion. Oh, look at this. Okay, it's trash. I'll take the food, honestly. Is that really it? We got three gold blocks out of this entire bastion. One more bastion to go, that's all. Well, let's find this bastion quick. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This is more exciting than finding six bastions. <gasps> yes! Okay, please be good. Please be good. This is getting more and more concerning. I'm not seeing any gold. Oh, this is actually a good type of bastion. We can actually go over here. Yes, look at all this gold. All right, I think this is enough gold, which means we can finally go home. Yes. What? I swear I'm not hacking. <laughs> I was just digging a staircase. I'm actually so glad. I've never wanted to see my stupid little villagers, my silly little pigmen. I've never wanted to see them more. Sir, sir, you're the only one out here. Excuse me. Do you know where a man named Goober may be? And could you take me to him? Oh, perfect, perfect. I really appreciate this, man. What's your name? Oh, Stanley. Okay. Everybody, can we get a thank Stanley in the comments? Okay. So we just keep going straight from here, yeah? All right, cool. See you later, Stan. All right, so Stan said if we just keep going this way, then we'll find him. <gasps> Goober! Oh my goodness. How are you doing, buddy? I told you I'd come back for you. Let's go home, buddy. Yes! Alright, but unfortunately, it has to end at some point. So, Goober, this is very fun, okay? This may be the last time I see you, okay, buddy? But I want you to know, there's a whole life out there, okay? I want you to go explore it. Alright, you don't need me anymore. I love you, Goober. Stay strong. I'll see you, buddy. <laughs>so along with all the gold that we got, we actually got a ton of iron. And I learned that there's actually a type of villager that trades iron for emeralds. So if we just make a smithing table right here and then place it down, he's now trading us coal for emeralds. So he should now upgrade. And now we have an iron trade. Two iron for one emerald. Perfect. But yeah, over time, we can just get a ton of levels and emeralds from this. Nice. All right, now let's go level 30 enchant this diamond sword. I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad. Would you look at that? Level 30. And we only have sharpness 3. So the last thing I want to do is enchant a bow. Because bows are actually pretty good. So I'm just going to take my string here and these sticks and make a bow. Alright, and now we just need to get back to level 30. First thing we can do, of course, is create some of our iron here. I'm going to spend 5 minutes up here. You guys know how it is. Alright, this is going to be the transition. Uh... 
Okay, I don't know if that looked good or not. Well, that's five minutes, so let's jump down. Oh my gosh! I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Alright, I, I knew it was gonna be trash too. Okay, that's better. So if we just get to level 30 one more time, then should be good. I think to get to level 30, I'm gonna make an iron farm. Just so we can trade the iron with our villager and then get levels from that. Alright, so for this iron farm, I'm gonna use Waddle's design. So I think I'm gonna use Deep Slate for this. Perfect, like so. All right, so for this next part, we're gonna need a name tag. So, all right, the lanterns levels it up the most. So let's just buy all of this, I guess. 12 lanterns. He's now upgraded to giving us glass, actually. And now he can upgrade again. All right, what now? Compass, okay. Boom, now we just have a ton of compasses on the ground. But hopefully, yep, he trades a name tag now. Perfect. Let's make a little pathway here. In the minecart. Yes! Now I just need to push him all the way to our little contraption over here. Yes! Alright, next one. Okay. Alright, we just need one more. Go in. Perfect. Okay, all three villagers are now secured. Okay, well, I desperately need a zombie. Oh, what was that timing? No! Oh. Look. Yes! I'm actually so happy. You guys have no idea. <laughs> now we can actually work on, like, the actual iron farm part. Now everything is pretty much built for the iron farm. All we need to do now, break these three blocks. Oh, it's already working. Oh, hello. I'm gonna spend five minutes at the iron farm today and I just wanna see how much iron we get by the end of it. So uh, here's the transition. All right, we made 51 iron in five minutes, which is not that bad. Oh, 56 iron actually in five minutes. And next thing we need to do, since we have 30 levels, is to finally go enchant that bow. Boom, power four. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good actually. Next thing we can do, grab our netherite ingot and turn our diamond sword into a netherite sword. All right, so I'm gonna make our glass bottles right here. All right, now I wanna add my nether wart, blaze powder, some glowstone dust. Boom, we now have strength two potions. Perfect. All right, and with that, I'm gonna grab four souls Sand and three wither skulls we're about to fight the wither so here we go if i never come back here again then i want rob to take over the world and we're here a thousand a thousand oh and the sun's going down oh my goodness <laughs> this is so suspenseful go 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 oh my goodness it's charging up i'm just gonna have it ready okay here it goes it's already locked in on me oh my boat is just out of reach of it oh this is so bad how am i supposed to kill it this is what I'm gonna do. I jumped on my bow. Oh, the regen is so quick. Okay, I'm getting hit. It's fine. I'm just gonna try to hit it as much as I can with my bow. Thankfully, my netherite armor is tanking so much of the damage. Ooh, all right. I'm actually starting to take some damage now. Oh, where's my bow? Here it is. Go! Go! I'm just gonna heal up with my golden carrots. I'm gonna hop out again because it's healing. All right, go. Okay, it's in sword stage. Okay, I'm drinking my strength, eating another golden carrot, and now I'm going in with my sword. Oh, it's taking so much damage. Yes. All right, couple more hits. Yes! And we did it, guys. We took down the wither. All right, nice. And as a trophy of our victory, I'm gonna make a little thing right here. I don't know what it's supposed to represent, but, you know, it's where we spawn the wither, so. I'm back home. That was probably the scariest part of this entire series so far. All right, well, now that I have the nether star, I can grab some glass and obsidian, and I can make the beacon. Boom. There's one thing I also want to do while I'm in the end that I can't really spoil just yet. First thing we need to do is actually find the end portal, huh? All right, so the end portal is this way. I don't even need to use another eye of ender because if we just keep going straight then eventually I think we'll just stumble by the portal because it'll just be exposed. Oh, that's so cool. There's like geodes everywhere. Look, this is like a fully exposed geode right here. There's another shipwreck. I don't care how OP I get, I'll always stop to get these shipwrecks. I don't know. There's just something so satisfying about looting them. Like, look, we just got a diamond. Wait, I just saw a dolphin. I think combined with my depth strider 3, if I get a dolphin, I'll be insanely fast. So let's test it out. Dolphin oh my gosh well the dolphin can't keep up sadly i'm starting to get a little nervous though what if the stronghold is just like i don't know somehow underneath all this sand wait what this is it i'm pretty sure okay well i think the ocean only world like kind of corrupted it a bit because i'm not sure if this is supposed to spawn like this 
Um, I guess we just gotta find the portal now, right? Wait, what? The end portal is literally this close to the starter staircase. What? Well, I guess I can just use our two eyes of Ender. All right, I'm gonna save these cords and I'm gonna head back home. Now I have to go all the way back. This is kind of annoying. There's our base. I can see it. Back to it. We need to grab our Ender pearls, as much of our ores that we can take, our gold blocks. And this is why I also made our iron farm. Exactly 25 blocks of iron. We need to grab our beacon. And I guess with the last of our emeralds, one mending book and one unbreaking book. And I guess we can spend the last of it on enchantment bottles. I'm gonna just collect up on all these deep slate slabs and cobblestone, my obsidian. And I'm gonna just make another portal there so we can go back and forth really quickly. So all I need to do now is head out back to the stronghold. All right, and we're here. All right, so if we just go here. Oh, Jesus. And uh, I guess I'll just make another portal right here. I want to make a little double chest. We're going to store our stuff in here. All right, we're somewhere completely random. Actually, it looks like we've explored this bastion before, which means... Yeah, I know where I am, actually. Okay, and perfect. We're back here. While I'm here, I can also grab all my sugar cane. And I can also grab our tons of gunpowder. And boom, now we have slow falling potions. I'm gonna craft my sugar cane into paper. I now have a ton of fireworks. And let's head back to the nether. All right, now we just need to head back to our portal, double check that we have everything, and then we're ready, we're on our way. We're here. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab all my slabs and cobblestone, I guess, and I'm just gonna throw it in. All right, now remember, once I jump in this, there's no going back unless I die. I guess, let's jump in. Here we go. <gasps> Okay, all my stuff. All right, I'm gonna make a chest right here and fill it with a ton of our stuff. There's the dragon. All right, I've yet to reveal this, but basically my strat for the end is that we are going to get the Elytra before we kill the dragon. This is why I have fireworks. This is why I have all these blocks. Because basically I'm gonna build all the way out to the end island. It's about a thousand blocks out until we reach the end islands, and I don't know how quick we can do it. I don't want to just kill the dragon like normally. I want to give you guys a show. I want to do things differently. The Foofmello way, okay? Oh my gosh, this is so scary, but we're going to start going. If I do end up falling into the void, I have these slow falling potions, so hopefully if I fall, I can just like pearl up or something. I have no clue if I have enough blocks, but if I don't, I have my beacon, and I can always just mine the end island. That's why I made the iron farm. That's why I got all those gold blocks. That's why I killed the wither. It's all been leading up. Up to this point so if this doesn't work out then it'll all be for nothing this is the most nerve-wracking thing like ever i don't think i've ever been like this scared in the series so far like if my pinky finger lets go of shift right now it's all over we're already kind of far out 360 we just hit we just need to keep going oh my gosh look at this it's just the abyss okay my slow falling just ran out we have another slow falling potion so i guess i'll just drink it not even fighting the wither was this scary but this this is just like a hundred percent death if i fall my toes are curling right now i'm like on the edge of my seat my butt is clenched this is really just like bridging simulator okay this is our last stack of blocks we have two more stacks of slabs to go Wait, oh my gosh. Oh, please tell me this is enough. We've reached the end islands. I didn't think we were gonna reach it. What? Oh, our slow falling just ran out. I gotta be so careful right now not to fall. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. We actually did it. We reached the end islands. Journey's not over yet. We still need to make it there there and we're out of blocks wait i have so much logs on me it's not over i literally have like a stack of logs i always keep on me in case i need extra wood okay oh my goodness okay i think i can pearl this that makes it right Okay, we did it. We just bridged all the way to the end island. And I brought Rob here. Look at this. Look at where we are. We did this together. <gasps> no way. We just found an end city with a ship. This means we can already get the elytra. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Oh my goodness. We've come such a long way, guys. Oh, okay. I'm getting hit, but it's fine. First chest here. Oh, wait. The iron could actually come in helpful. Because now we can make ourselves one of these. When was the last time you guys see me with a shield, huh? Oh, the end ship is literally right there. Uh, am I gonna make it? Oh, okay. I'm gonna bridge up to the ship. Oh, wait. Actually, I'm gonna just let one of these hit me, and then I can fly over. And... Now we have the elytra. And thankfully I brought my anvil. So now we have unbreaking three and mending on it. And for the meme, you know I have to take the dragon head. Now I can just fly. Oh my gosh, this is sick. And with all the fireworks I have, we can fly back to the end island and kill the dragon. So the end island is at zero, zero. So I just wanna go towards there. Oh, look at my bridge, my bridge. We really made it guys. I'm gonna just follow my long bridge back and hopefully we can kill the dragon. 
Oh, okay, here we are. That actually surprisingly didn't take that long. But we're here, and the Ender Dragon is right there. So first off, I'm gonna wanna break all these crystals. That's one, two, three, four, five. Nice. All right, and for these cage ones, I'm gonna have to bridge up and break them down here, which shouldn't be too hard. Boom. Now I'll- Oh, shoot! What the heck? That dragon just launched me so far. Okay, but all the crystals are broken now. So it's just mano e mano. And because I'm extra... Wait, no. Oh, we're four blocks short. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, that's actually so lucky. All the ores we got from the end city is enough. So if I place this here... Boom! We have infinite strength and regen. Let's do this. Come here, dragon! Oh, the dragon's perching. All right, I'm gonna get on the ground. I'm gonna bow it some more while it's getting to the ground. Holy, my bow shreds. Okay, I'm gonna go here, put my chest plate on. Oh, okay. <laughs> the dragon didn't give me any time. The dragon is already close to half health. Is it perching again? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna get under, put my chest plate on. Uh, right here. Okay. Oh, this is easy. The dragon is already below half health. Okay, the dragon's kind of high now, so I'm gonna put on my elytra. Oh, wait, it's perching again. I'm gonna get to the ground. I'm gonna put on my chest plate and get the final hit oh i just killed the dragon with my thorns i think what the heck okay well that was kind of anticlimactic but we did it and with that let's jump into the portal that ender dragon fight was crazy wait where am i what the heck what is this place what is this a book what the your next 100 days starts here <laughs> whatever uh what the heck is that how we doing there little guy 